gang. This is not great. Like and subscribe, etc., etc. So I do want to preface this with acknowledgement. Um, both Kita Sean and Plushy Mistress, Plushy Mistress first, put out some excellent, excellent videos about this. I'm going to link them down in the description. Be sure you go and check them out and check out their take on this entire situation. I recently watched both of them and they both did a very, very good job. So I need to give them props because they deserve it. Now, what are we talking about here? We are talking about FGO's new streaming guidelines. And so far, they've only hit JP. However, um, I am in agreement with Plushy that it is likely that these will likely end up hitting NA at some point, too. I just don't see any reason for them to not do that. So these new streaming guidelines uh, read thusly. Uh, they're going to establish guidelines for posting gameplay videos. Uh, if you don't end up following these guidelines, you will get struck. It's just what's going to happen. And for those who aren't aware of how YouTube system works, if you get struck three times, your channel goes bye bye. So they have determined that videos, you know, distributor posted before August 4th, which is when the guidelines were established, are going to be exempt. However, everything else that's it's going to be fair game for them talking about it. So what, what are we allowed to post now? What are we actually allowed to post? Or are people allowed to post? Well, main story. So we've got um, all of part 1, 1 1.5, and part 2 up to chapter 4, Yuga Kshetra. That's all fine. You can do the main interludes of Areshkigal, Christmas, Seraph, Oku, and Nautilus Imaginary Scramble. You can do uh, events where you are allowed to participate in them after having only touched Fuyuki, and you can do reruns and light events. Uh, summoning is exempt from this. Uh, quests are exempt from this, so like your advanced quests, your strengthening quests, your high difficulty uh, quests, those are also all exempt. So this is the stuff that all FGO creators are going to be allowed to post. Here's what we're not allowed to make videos of so we can't make any videos including main story from atlantis onwards we can't do hey on kyo we can't do tunguska we can't do trom uh we can't do any limited time events where you have to clear something other than fuyuki in order to participate and then that's you know that's newer ish stuff but that's still stuff that is years and years old especially if you've been following jp and then we are getting on top of that to the part where i think we're starting to get a little ridiculous uh you can't post any interlude stories none you can't post anything from the sound player which okay kind of nebulous there we'll talk about that in a second uh opening animation part one ending credits uh bond craft essences that have reached level 10 so if the ce and it's tech show up, nope, can't do it, video's getting taken down. And anything related to Olga Marie quests also cannot be posted either. So this is this is a this is a thing. This is a thing, it is 100 percent real. It has been confirmed. This is posted officially on JP. And so I have a lot of complicated thoughts about this. Uh, my first concern when I first read this and Kida went and assuaged my fears was like, how is this going to potentially impact support review? Uh, potentially that's going to be okay, but we are going to have to, you know, be a little worried in some of the stuff. It seems like summoning and therefore character reviews are going to be exempt from that. I think Kida's entirely right about this, at least for now, but the one... One of the things that's got me worried is how nebulous a lot of this stuff says. So if sound player is going to, you know, get you copyright struck, does this mean if I'm looking at, you know, somebody's box and the actual music for the in-game screen is playing, that's going to get me, you know, that's going to hurt me. That's going to get me copyright struck. If someone has a Bond CE in their list and I accidentally click on it, is that going to get the video completely destroyed from orbit? Is that something that's going to happen? Those, those two things in particular are the ones that I am most baffled by and most concerned about. Because having those specifically listed in there gives them a lot of room to push and pull when it comes to, you know, striking content. I'm not trying to, I'm not trying to tinfoil hat this or anything like that, but it does create a solid amount of concern, at least in my eyes, 
concern that is entirely warranted. Now, you might be wondering on uh, how a lot of the JP player base is reacting to these. From what I hear, there's a lot of JP uh, tubers that are actually, you know, for this. Like, they're, they're fine with that, which, honestly, I don't understand i mean i get that people make decisions that aren't in their self-interest all the time and support things that aren't in their self-interest all the time but i mean you would think that you would want to be able to show stuff from the new content because stuff from the new content is what people want to see and that is you know what ends up making people like want to come to your channel and check it out at least that's been my experience on youtube anytime there's something new and i'm able to make a video about it it's, it's exciting. That is the thing that people want to see. Now, there is a future plan for this. They do say that some stuff is going to be allowed to, you know, be released for play streaming in the future. Uh, for this year, um, in October, you're going to be able to show stuff from Lost Belt 5 and Lost Belt 5.5. November, Lost Belt 6 and Lost Belt 6.5. And December, uh, Chapter 7 of Lost Belt number 7. There are currently no plans to show any content or anything beyond that. No plans to not have the stuff from that content not get struck. So there's potential if you show something from that, you might be in danger. I'm not I'm not trying to fear monger, but I would say if you are an up and coming FGO tuber, uh, I would just completely avoid posting content that is at the bare bare minimum uh beyond lost belt number seven in the foreseeable future i would try to follow these guidelines as much as possible i think they will definitely end up making their way over here there's no way they're going to keep this just a jp thing they're going to keep their content distribution guidelines and striking guidelines everywhere it's just going to end up being the thing i think we just haven't received the announcement yet so now the question that everyone asks themselves now i have to ask myself is you know what, is, what does this mean for me? I know that all things considered in the grand scheme of YouTube, I'm still a, a essentially baby YouTuber under 10,000 subscribers. I know that. I get that. Despite all that, though, I've still tried to work really hard to get where I am. I have, you know done a lot thrown things at the wall literally had like and i mean that figuratively and not literally <laughs> thrown things at the wall to see what sticks i've tried very very hard to try to make videos i think are neat and entertaining and i'm i'm really really just trying to be the best i can be and just spread my love of games out there and i've done that primarily through fgo because i legitimately enjoy fgo but I just don't know if I'm willing, I don't really think I'm willing to risk any and all of the progress that I have made so far on this. I, I don't think that would be something I'd be able to handle well if I ended up, you know, losing my entire channel due to copyright strikes over these guidelines. So I really, I really have to think about where I'm going to take this channel in the future, what role FGO is going to have in general on my channel, and what else, what else we could potentially play, what else we could potentially do. Maybe do a different, different kinds of videos, maybe just longer videos with more editing, not trying to worry about, you know, Quick stuff or maybe just doing like you know quick short videos that you guys want to see maybe there's particular games you want to see me play maybe there's you know particularly things you'd like to see me throw my hat in the ring on to talk about i do clearly love blabbing i bought all i bought this fancy mic to blab in front of the camera to you all to say things about video games because i can't talk about video games enough because i got I, I just love video games too much it's me that is my flaw so let me know if, if there's anything any of you would like to potentially see me, you know, tackle, anything you'd like to see me do, go ahead and let me know down in the comments. I'm always, always looking for people's suggestions, and especially now more than ever, when I feel like this is just, uh, this is just the beginning of a long, you know, thing that we're going to have to think about when it comes to FGO. I, I really think I do. I do need that more than ever. I do appreciate everyone's support 
regardless of the form it comes in whether you just you know give me a, i love the thanks i receive from you guys love the comments i receive from you all the messages in the discord the super chats i love every single thing so you know leave leave a comment leave a like or something if you'd like because i would i would really really appreciate it because i'm not gonna lie this news uh this news hit me like a ton of bricks i don't quite understand why they're so potentially maybe worried about spoilers or anything like that i get it i get that spoilers suck i get that getting blindsided by something you were going to play is not fun but that's why if there's something I'm really looking to play in the future and I definitely don't want to get spoiled by it, I make my own personal attempts. I take my own personal accountability and I go out there onto my social medias and I mute everything related to that thing close to release date. I remove it from my YouTube subscription feeds. I try to avoid social media as much as possible until I make a decent amount of progress. That is just a personal thing I attempt to do so I don't get spoiled. And I am I'm willing to go that extra mile. I'm going to take willing to take that extra step, but I guess not everyone is. And I I mean I can't I can't speak for them and what their rationale is, but that's just what I personally do when it comes to something I don't want to get spoiled. Let me know your overall thoughts on this situation down in the comment section below. I know it doesn't affect the majority of my audience because the majority of my audience are not YouTubers, but I just I just hope that every single, you know, FGO tuber like that is out there that ends up, you know, seeing this. I hope you're not hit by any of the terrible things from this. I hope you don't get copyright struck. I hope if this leads to you trying something different in a different niche, I hope you succeed. I sincerely do. I've already talked to uh, Musaki and Oni about this in our little Discord chat we got going. Um, they're going to be doing something in the future talking about that because I'm going to be otherwise engaged. So please look out for their video as well when they end up talking about it. And I just want to say that, you know, Kita, Plushy, thank you both so much for this information. Both of those videos were immensely important. And I think they were great watches. So thank you all to you all. Anyways, gang, that's it for me, Kawaii Five O. I'm gonna go continue to process this and continue to think about what else we can do in the future. So I think you all have, I hope you all have a phenomenal day. And I'll see you all in the next one. Take care and bye-bye.